I'm Chris. Today we're installing the latest innovation in coral lighting, Philips Coral Care. As you can see, we've got two fixtures and a smaller box, that's the controller. You need the controller to operate Philips Coral Care, so make sure you order one at the same time. First, let's carefully open the box. So, what have we got? We've got the fixture, three meter power cable, three meter communications cable, got a UK adapter, fixings and instruction booklets. And in this box, we've got the controller, adapter, UK and European plugs. USB cable and instruction booklet. And you can connect up to four fixtures to one controller. Now at this point, let me just emphasize that for safety reasons, it's vital that the fixture is plugged into a grounded outlet. Okay, start by connecting your hooks or rig to the ceiling. The hooks or rig you need will depend on your ceiling type. Every ceiling is different, so the fixings are not included in the kit. Inspect your ceiling and decide which kind of fixings are right for you. Feed the steel wire twice through the clip to create a loop. If you've attached closed hooks to the ceiling, you'll need the steel wire to go through them. And of course, if you have open hooks, you can put the wire through them later. Attach the two hooks at the end of each wire to the fixture. The fixture should hang at least 15 centimeters above the surface of the water. The ideal distance is 15 to 35 centimeters. The higher you hang the fixture, the larger the spread of light is. Simply use the buttons on the clip to adjust the height. The surface coverage of the fixture is 100 centimeters by 80 centimeters. But the amount of light you'll need depends on how advanced your reef is. The basic rule is, the more advanced your reef, the more light you'll need. Don't connect the fixture to the power outlet just yet. You'll need to install the controller first. Ideally, install the controller in a well-ventilated area, and then decide which mode you want to use. There are two options, the PC scheduler option and the zero to 10 volt interface option. First, I'm going to show you how to connect your controller to the zero to 10 volt interface. Connect the USB cable and a double zero to 10 volt interface cable from a third party device and close the cover of the controller using the screws. Connect the communication wires from the fixture to the controller. Make sure you connect the two wire leads to the same color group on the controller. It doesn't matter which cable color is used in the fixture as long as they are in the same color group on the controller. Close the cover by using the screws. The controller comes preset in a 0 to 10 volt mode. The USB cable can be plugged directly into the adapter. Then you're ready to use the system as soon as you've powered up the fixtures. Now you can control your Philips Coral Care system using an aquarium computer. Now I'll show you how to make a PC connection. Connect the communication wires from the fixture to the controller. Each controller has four color codes, one color group for each fixture. Then download the software at www.philips.com forward slash coral care and follow the instructions. The software is compatible with every version of Windows, but it's not yet compatible with Mac OS. Plug the USB cable into the computer and connect to the software. Program the light schedule into the controller. Remove the controller from the USB port and connect it to the adapter. It's now powered and stand alone. You're now done setting up the Coral Care controller and you're now ready to use the system. If you remove power from the controller, the internal clock settings will be remembered for 48 hours. 
After 48 hours, you'll need to reprogram the time on the controller. If you connect the Coral Care controller to your PC, enable the fixtures and select Live Mode on the computer interface. You'll see instantly what your light settings will look like over your aquarium. And you can also use your demo mode to display a 24-hour light schedule in just two minutes. The Coral Care controller also has a task light setting. Press the button and you can quickly enable a light setting that you've already programmed into the controller, such as a 10% light level so as not to harm or scare your fish. After checking, simply press the button once more to go back to the standard program. Don't forget, you can also set a timer for this function. After pressing the button, you can activate the scene for up to 60 minutes. After this time, the controller will revert back to its original schedule. Done! That's all there is to it. It's really that easy to install Philips Coral Care. Philips Coral Care. It's more than light because it's more than an aquarium.